This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting advanced color techniques in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you how to use the video limiter in Premiere to make sure your video levels stay within legal boundaries. The video limiter allows you to clamp white and black levels to keep them legal for broadcast and cable. You'll find it in the effects panel in video effects and color correction. The video limiter is not needed for videos posted to the web, but is needed for anybody who needs you to guarantee that the white levels don't exceed 100%. Let me show you how this works. This is from the BVE Expo in London a few years ago. And as we look at our scopes, we see our white levels are way high and because the lighting is all from the top, it's kind of harsh and garish, and it'd be useful if I could sort of open up the mids and the shadows because it's really kind of overly contrasting. And notice here, my saturation, although legal, is beyond the 75% level. When it gets beyond 100%, then we have a problem. So what does the video limiter do? Select the clip, go to Effects, search for limiter, just because it's fast, and you'll see that there's two of them, one in color correction and one in obsolete. Don't use the one called legacy. Use the one here. Click and drag and drop it on top of the clip. Instantly, it almost but not quite perfectly clamps our white levels. The problem is, for whatever reason, Adobe set it to the wrong default. If we go to Effect Controls and go down to Video Limiter, notice that the clip level is set to 103 IRE. Instead, you want to set it to 100 IRE. And now it clamps our white levels right at 100%. And what's especially useful is now when I open up the highlights here, I can increase the brightness of the lighter portions of the clip, but nothing goes over 100%. I'm going to open the midtones. Again, I want to have people be a little less contrasty, more human looking. And then pull our black levels down just a bit to keep the richness, the, the solidity of the image. So we've now clamped our white levels. Look at before and look at after. It just seems friendlier. It seems more open. It seems less harsh. And that's because we were able to raise the mids and the highlights without knocking our stuff over 100%. Well, let's say that I have a string of clips all from BVE that need to be tweaked. Wouldn't that be helpful if I could do them all at the same time? And the answer is we can. So I'm going to select my clip, go to the File menu, go to New, and I want to select an adjustment layer, but notice that it's grayed out. In order to create an adjustment layer, I need to be back in the Project panel and go to File, New, Adjustment Layer. We'll accept all the defaults. Drag the adjustment layer on top of our clips, and we would have them be on top of all of them. I'm keeping it short because I want to show you before. Actually, we'll make it long. Drag it to here and drag it to here. And now, with the adjustment layer selected, go to Effects, drag the video limiter on, on top of the adjustment layer, then Effect Controls, set it to 100 IRE. The adjustment layer now processes all the images below it and clamps the white levels so they don't exceed 100%. See how they're clamped on both shots. And because one filter is applied to one clip, the adjustment layer, any changes that I make instantly apply to all the clips underneath the adjustment layer. This is a really useful function of being able to guarantee that our white levels and black levels are safe and yet not have to do it on a clip-by-clip -clip basis by applying the video limiter to an adjustment layer. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting advanced color techniques in Adobe Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 311.
by the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.